What's up, Tritnology family, and welcome back to another episode of the Tritnology News Talk. As for today's episode, it's going to be very short, but we got a special for y'all today, as we got another movie review for y'all today, and today we're going to be talking about The Wild Robot. And let me just say this. If this movie do not get, not only get nominated, but win Best Animated Film at next year's Oscars, we gonna have a problem. So, that kind of tells you how good and how much I enjoyed this movie. Universal, DreamWorks, this is a win. This is a W for y'all. So, this movie uh, starred the voices of Lapia Younger, Pedro Pascal, Kit Connor, Bill Nolan, Stephanie Vio, Mark Hill, and Ka Kathy O'Hare, Matt Bird, and Vin Reigns. So, in the movie, Roz, voiced by Lapita Gaga, a robot shipwrecked on an uninhabited island, must adapt her surroundings, building a relationship with a local wildlife, and become an adopted mother of an orphan goose. So, when I watch this movie, uh, uh, let me just say this. I don't know if y'all ever watched the 19, I think it came out in 1998. Let me, uh, let me correct myself to make sure. No, 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 1999. So, if y'all watched the 1999's Iron Giant, yeah, the one with Vin Ranger before he did the um uh, the Fast and the Furious uh, franchise. Yeah. If y'all seen that movie in y'all childhood, this is exactly what it is. It is literally the Iron Giant for this generation. Except you know, like in Iron Giant, he doesn't land in like in a town and stuff like that. A robot doesn't land in a town or like a city or, or something. But instead, uh, uh, a, a robot gets uh, um, landed in like in the, in nature. You understand? It got to be adapted to the nature life. You know, so, so that's basically what it is when I, when I looked at this movie. But um, man, there's gonna be some scenes. There are real tearjerker, some funny scenes, some very touching scenes. Like I said, it's gonna be a dude tearjerker, and some of you're gonna be applauding. And a, uh, and a rooting for, for, for those particular characters. And man, like, it really, like, adapts and really, like, mixed with um, the balance with being in a, being in a, in a nature life and working in a science, um, like a, like a futuristic science thing. And Roz, well, played by my guy, I really feel for, for this character. Like, um, it's like you go to a new place, right? Say like you go into a new school and you're not very familiar with things that, that goes around in your school and you have to adapt in order like to fit in in that new world. That's exactly what I got from for, for the robot was. It's a, uh, she's trying to adapt even though that uh, she's supposed to be, the. Uh, uh, let me just say that she, she looks exactly like the Iron Giant. But a, but a little mix of, I would say, Disney's uh, Big Hero Six Baymax. She's she's kind of like Baymax, a little bit. Like she she like a future rich robot who's there to you know to like to fit stains and then help you will help you with your tasks and like and like all that stuff stuff like that that's, that is going to be made for the future. So, um, even though she does like um like fit stains. But she's not. Uh, but she can't really fit everything because she's not like uh, adapt to the. Let's see, she's trying to adapt into the nature life. But once she gets like the goals and the task, but she she never gives up on the on the task and the goals that she wants to do, especially with uh with her adopting like this uh this orphan goose who was voiced by um by Kid Carter uh, when 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 he gets uh when he gets older, but um. Yeah, so that's basically uh, what it is. It's basically like building a friendship, which it, which Ross did with a um 
with a fox uh, named Fick, played by uh, Pedro, Pedro Pascal. And, uh, yeah, so it's basically, like, um, trying to make new friends, build a relationship, kind of have an understanding, like, even though, like, um, you're not familiar with this person, like, but you, you kind of understand where they come from, like, at, at the heart, and, you know, you're willing to, um, to fight and uh, be... Uh, by your side like no matter tell you if, if you're different from one another so yeah it's very uh, it was a very touchy stuff and I also love at the end the end battle scene like it kind of reminds me of a little bit of the of the remake as uh, remake image version of the jungle book like and also like like where Roz and all the animals had to f fight all these like this robot for life uh, from a company that 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 Ross was made of. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that one. Um, I really enjoyed the relationship that Ross had with the uh with the goose and um and the fox, and uh and try to get all the like the nature animals who like praise the light to a, to another um to another animal so that to kind of like to come together as one. So I literally like that one. Like it, the, this was really 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 good and i highly recommend for y'all to check this out if you're a fan of uh like dreamworks animation or or illuminatious uh, animation so definitely y'all to check it out take your nieces your nephews your children uh, uh, take them all to see it because uh, they will uh, enjoy this absolutely so and with that being said i'm gonna give this movie an a plus a plus movie and like i said if it doesn't get nominated, and if it doesn't win Best Animated Feature and the next Oscars, we gonna have problems. That's all I can say. But uh, but uh, but at the end, I will. Uh, we don't know who's gonna get nominated. Okay, only time will tell. I'm just putting it out there. So that's uh, that's all I can say for for now. We we'll just have to wait and see who gets nominated, who at the Oscars. So, but with that being said, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, let me know in the comment section if you're watching on YouTube. Um, what are your thoughts on the Wild World by if you've seen the movie? So, as I mentioned before, if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell when new episodes or other videos are uploaded. And of course, if you've been listening to me on Spotify, uh, Apple Music, YouTube Music, or any other podcast platform, don't forget to follow me there as well. And with that being said, this is Trico. And I'm signing off, y'all. Peace.